Do you want to create your very own code editor just using Python? After watching this tutorial, you will be able to build your very own code editor which is web-based with syntax highlighting feature. We will be using a package known as Streamlit. Streamlit is an amazing package which allows you to write HTML, CSS and JavaScript based front-end and also you can use the back-end as Python. So in this tutorial, we will be using the Streamlit library to create our very own code editor. So with that being said, let's start coding. Here is a quick preview of our code editor. As you can see, in this code editor, you can simply write your code. After that, you can click on this run code in order to run the code and you will get the final output as hello. Now there is one more bonus feature. We can simply increase the font size in the sidebar, for example here. And we can even though hide and show the line numbers. You can even though switch between the languages like Python and JavaScript. You can even though change the theme. For example, you can change it to Dracula or even though GitHub. So this is the preview. Let's start our main coding part. First, we will import two essential libraries like Streamlit which allows us to create this awesome web app interface and Streamlit Ace which is an interactive code editor component. We will also need subprocess in order to run or capture the Python code outputs. Next, we will config the page using the st.setPageConfig method. Here, we define the page title and icon and set the layout to white so that our editor has inner room. Now, we will be adding multiple titles and description to guide users. Streamlight makes it super simple to use title and write function. You just have to type in st.write method and st.title method. One of the coolest feature is the customizable code editor, which can allow user to select their editor theme, adjust the font size and even toggle line numbers. All of this happen in the sidebar. As you can see, we will be using the widgets like select box, slider and checkbox to provide the theme and for font adjustment and toggle for the line numbers. Right now we are supporting only Python and JavaScript, but only the Python execution part is implemented in this video. Now here's the heart of the editor, the STAs component. This allows the user in order to actually write their code. We will be passing the language, theme and the font size to their component. And the Streamlit takes care of the rendering as a beautiful and interactive code editor. Now that we have our code editor, we need a way actually to run the code. When the user hit the run code button, we save the input in a temporary Python file, use the subprocess to execute the code and the output is then captured and displayed in the Streamlit app. Let's break down this code. First of all, we will be clicking the button. We check if the language is Python or not. If so, we write the user input to a temporary file. Then we will be using the subprocess.run method in order to execute the Python file, capturing both of the standard output and errors. The output is displayed in the simple st.txt box while errors are shown in the red using an st.error method. This makes it super easy for troubleshooting your code. Finally, we will be creating a static console area to display the code output. This part simply provides a space for displaying the results of your code. So after writing this much of code, all you have to do is just write streamlet run and your app name in the main terminal and you are ready to go with your very own code editor. And there you have it, a simple interactive code editor and a console built using Streamlit and Python. You can extend this to include JavaScript execution or even build it to support more advanced features like file saving, importing libraries and much more. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. And as always, happy coding. Goodbye.